Hello. Thanks for joining me today. Today for Paper Pumpkin Saturday. Sorry, I needed a drink. Gotta have that Mountain Dew. <coughs> so I got my October Paper Pumpkin in the mail. So I wanted to do an unboxing with you. And this box beautiful. Mine got a little banged up in the mail. But that usually happens. Okay, so it comes with an early espresso stampin' spot. So I'm just going to pull out my early espresso ink pad. Because I don't, I tend not to use the spots. This is the stamp set. I'm going to put it on the box so you can see it. So it's going to be great to make Christmas cards and, and everything. So with the November kit is going to be this box. So if you want that, and it's a Christmas treat. Um, it's a gift. It, this is a gift tag kit. The November kit will be a gift tag kit. Now coordinate with this one. And then they have this North Pole add-on, Saks add-on, that you can buy these uh, bags if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber, you can get these gift Christmas gift bags um, add-on. They're available now in the online store. And um, I'm not sure how much they are. I didn't really look. But I added it to our um, the Facebook po or the blog post today. So you can head over there and there'll be a link. Okay. So green tissue paper. Very Christmassy and festive. Okay. I'm going to move the box out of the way. Grab my scissors so we can open this up. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So in the box, or in the package, once we open it, let's see what all we get. So, we get the cardboard and the instructions. So we're going to have enough stuff to create nine cards, three of each of these. So you'll see the directions on how to put them together. There's also a video that Stampin' Up! releases on how to put them together. And it shows you all the components in the kit that you should get. And if you don't get them, then you need to call Stampin' Up! And then it gives you three alternative cards. And then every Saturday, um, I the next few Saturdays, I will be doing an alternative. So this is a little bit of bling. These, which we, if you follow me at all, you know I don't like the, the glue dots. I put them to a side for my friend. Then I have the Safe and Dimensionals. And then we get the envelopes. So there's three. Then there's three crumb cake and three, pool, it looks like pool party. Very beautiful card envelopes. Then we have the card bases. So I'm going to keep one of each of these out. Because we're going to make one of each card. And then this okay and then we'll take out one of these okay and put that to the side then we need one of these this and the snowflakes okay so let's start with card number one okay so for card number one we need the crumb cake card base right so we're gonna use this card base totally fine then we're gonna need this we need this banner a Santa then we need one of the big snowflakes out of here perfect and then we need a Mary okay oh we need another banner where is it at mm, where's that little banner oh it's right here it's on this piece so we need this little banner is that correct okay so let's go ahead and get started putting this one together okay so first thing they have us do is stamp 
So I'm going to bring in my early espresso ink. And I need a block. I might draw, pull out more than one block. I have more of these um, blocks. So if, this, if, you, if you order a kit and it's your first kit, then uh, it comes with a block. So we need Christmas. Um, so your first kit comes with your paper pumpkin block, and then you can just use it on any and all future paper pumpkins. Okay. So we're just going to line this up as best we can and stamp down. Oh, I did pretty good there. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to bring in our little strip piece and stamp Christmas. Sorry if my head's in the camera. I'm not sure I have the right, that's the right banner piece, but I don't see any other. Oh, I bet it's this. Oh, well, I'm going to redo it on that because that looks too thick. Okay. So we're going to do Christmas just like this. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and close the ink and get it out of the way. And bring in our dimensionals. So it shows you on this where to put your dimensionals. It says put one in each corner. Then we're going to go with one there. And I'm going to do one here. It doesn't call for one there, but I like, I want to want it to cave in on me. Okay. So I'm taking the dimensional backs off. Awesome. Okay. Then we're gonna let me use my bone folder and burnish this so it's, it lays more flat. Okay, and then we're just gonna line this up and put it on there. So it's kind of tone on tone, just like that. Then this has us using a glue dot. I'm gonna pull in my seal and just put it in the middle there. Like I said, I am not big on that on them glue dots, but to each their own. So then we need two dimensionals for Santa. We need three on the back of this one and then two on this. And then Mary, I'm just going to use my seal again. Okay, so let's take these off. So we're going to put our banner on. I'm going to put my Mary on. Like that. And then we'll add the Santa and the Christmas. So we'll do Christmas. And then they tuck Santa down behind a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. So this will be card number one. And you can make the cards just like this. I will only make one of each. And then I will use the rest of them to do my alternative projects. So if you like to see the alternative projects. Then by all means check back every Saturday to see what I come up with. Okay. So we need the sleigh. And we need Santa Claus is coming to town. And it's okay if you don't have all the blocks. You can just do them as um, sorry. You can just do them like you see the, um, just cleaning your block in between. Okay. So we need okay there's that piece. Then we need this piece. Right. Then we need this piece and one of these. And then we need a snowflake and a ho ho ho. Okay, so we have ho 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 
and a small snowflake. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to fold this card base and burnish it with my bone folder. And then we'll set it to the side because we're going to stamp on this piece. So we need our early espresso and get our stamping done. So on the, we're stamping our greeting on this piece. Santa Claus is coming to town. Then we're going to stamp our Santa and reindeer like that on our image. Okay, so that's the stamping for this one. Okay, so then we're going to bring in our seal, put some seal around our So this is like a picture frame, right? Oh, let's do this part first, I think. So we want it on the bottom. So this is going to go on the bottom. Like so. And then we're going to add this. So yeah. Then we're going to put this with dimensionals. One, two, three. Okay. There's that. So we have, oh, so we'll put this on the front of our card. We're going to add our snowflake right there. Then we're going to add our Oh, this is supposed to be dimensionals. That's okay. We're going to add our greeting right down here. And then we'll add our ho, ho, ho. Okay. Let's see. And it's going to go right along there. Okay, so this is card two, and we're on our last one. So this one we need three snowflakes, two little ones, oh, we need a medium and two little, yeah, okay, so there's the snowflakes, then we need a strip of this green. Okay, we need the red, this, we need a Santa head, this long strip, and our joy. Okay, first up, it says we're going to use... I'm going to fold this. Okay. So next we're going to use dimensionals. And we're going to layer this. Then we'll do our stamping. They always show the stamping first. And I got ahead of myself with this piece. So this is just going to line up over the crumb cake that's already on the card base. Okay, so we're going to stamp our Santa head. Let's see if I can do this lined up again. Okay, Let's see how we did. I did good. Okay, and then we need this saying, tis the season to be jolly. And we're going to stamp it on the green. This is the season to be jolly. Perfect. Okay. So now we can start layering stuff. So we'll start with our snowflakes. Okay. So 
we're going to go one here, then this one down here, nope, and then this one we'll put up here. Okay, then next we're going to do our two layers of our two strips. Okay, so this one goes here first, then we're going to come up a little bit with our green. Okay. I'm just using adhesive for these and then I'll pop up the Santa. I'm not going to pop the whole thing up. And I guess you don't need the Y because we're using Santa as the Y. Okay. There we go. Put our little Santa on there. And that is our three paper pumpkin cards for this month. And then they have the coordinating envelopes over here. We can um, just match them up any way you want. So there we go, three cards from the Paper Pumpkin. You can make three of each or tune in next Saturday for my first alternative project using the stamp set and the leftover kits and some other Stampin' Up! supplies I have. Thanks for joining me.